<laughs> I found Stacy Will, or at least she found me. Where are you going today? Um, uh, great question. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's 33. It's 33 degrees. people. My name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how-tos, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And you know what the worst part about cold mornings is? It's not even that it's cold. It's that all of my armor is frozen until my body can warm it up so it can be flexible again. It makes putting the gear on a little harder than normal. Anyway, we are in Bryce Canyon National Park. Today we're heading towards Escalante. I had to get the rest of my stuff packed up and on the bike. It piddled only a little bit this morning, so that's good. But as you can probably tell, the sleeping pad, the sleeping bag is all packed up. All that's really left to do is pack up the tent, put everything back on the bike. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that, shall we? wondering why I have this weird giant sunshade when I don't normally have it and it's a lot of weight and it's a lot of extra space. That's because I got somebody else to take this to Overland Expo West for me but long story short they were not going to be able to bring it back for me so there it is. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I took zero pictures of my tent up. <laughs> oh well. Let's get out of here. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen it. Something right and make up for what I lost. I was down, but things are looking up. I want to get high on you, caught by surprise by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know. I wanna get high on you, caught by surprise by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should. So I have a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> I found Stacy Will, or at least she found me. Yeah. She found me. <laughs> And she's like, Are you, I'm gonna go this place. I'm like, oh, I'm going that direction. So I pedaled around a little bit at Kodachrome so that I could come and meet up with her. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. She's inspired me so much to do like adventure touring riding. And then we're out here and I found her on my first like adventure touring ride. So my, advent my first adventure tour tour. Tour tour. <laughs> tour tour. <laughs> this is really rad. I'm stoked. I'm so excited. I think we're gonna go set up camp. And then find yeah. some food. Yeah. Ride food. Which makes sense, because ride food. Yeah. Obviously, I've talked to her before. I talked about her before. So if yeah. you haven't already, go hit the subscribe button. I will leave it down in the description. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs>
Well, I was really mean and I have forced Stacy to get a hotel room with me. <laughs> I'm a terrible, horrible person. We're keeping it real classy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but I needed to edit a video for you guys and charge stuff, so sorry, not sorry. It's fine. I'll sleep in a real bed instead of set up camp. It's cool. <laughs> I got Twinkies at the gas station. It's going to be fine. <laughs> so no fancy camping but footage or videos or anything like that, but um, we're going to get work done and that's, that's, that's also good. You know, Wi-Fi is cool sometimes. I don't care what you think of me. <laughs> good night, you guys. morning beautiful people unfortunately today we have to part ways i have to continue to oregon and stacy's is going to continue to be a badass and do a bunch of trails where are you going today um uh, great question <laughs> <laughs> uh so i'm going to do the bird trail and then eventually get over to the moki dugway and then valley of the gods so i'd say 40 percent dirt and then grass pavement maybe 30 percent i don't know i've never been here <laughs> So all of y'all who were giving me crap about not having time to go do the Moki Dugway, go check out her videos. When they publish, I will link them down in the description. I'm so excited for you. I'm excited and very scared. <laughs> <laughs> the, for those who don't know, this is uh, Stacy's like first adventure on an adventure bike. Yeah. <laughs> so that's super awesome. She does kill it uh, on her Dyna doing a bunch of dirt roads, but. Yeah. But this is very different. It's like learning to ride a motorcycle all over again. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we do have to hit the road. It's getting kind of late. But we stood up really late talking. Talking, YouTubing, you know. All the things. All the things, yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make moves. Making moves. Slowly but surely. <laughs> I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate don't turn off the light, I'm coming home All right, I just spent the last two hours at this beautiful little cafe in the middle of nowhere, Utah, uploading a video. If you haven't watched it already, it's the video that I titled Addressing Your Fears About Motorcycle Camping. Time to hit the road again, now that it's like one o'clock. Hey no matter the rain, no matter the storm, Coming home, leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. I've made it to Salt Lake City, or just north of Salt Lake City, and uh, I have decided that I'm just gonna keep going. There's 746 miles between me and home right now. And I don't wanna stop. <laughs> I just sat outside of an olive garden for like a solid 10 minutes. Oh, I should probably go eat something. Oh, I should probably go eat something, but I didn't wanna get off the bike. So, we're gonna get gas. 
and we're gonna make miles until I feel like I need to stop, I guess. just over 400 miles today and considering that I was at a cafe for two hours today uploading a video I'm gonna give myself some leeway and say that's good and get a hotel room for the night uh, and try to warm up my hands <laughs> well that was felt like a very long day I have uh, found myself in a nice comfy holiday inn they're kind of becoming my favorite <laughs> Uh, outside of Twin Falls, Idaho. So I made it into Idaho, feel pretty proud of that. And uh, I think there's like just under 600 miles between me and home tomorrow, so. Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. We are putting clothes on, we're gonna go downstairs and find ourselves some food and prepares for the day today because it's 37 degrees outside. So I'm a little bit relieved that I ended up in the hotel room last night instead of trying to camp because uh, last night would have been rough <laughs> to say the least. Especially when I'm already cold, um, trying to camp after you're already really chilled and trying to get back warm, warmed back up again is kind of difficult. Book a friend. Hi friend. My chain is tightened. Our lace as much as it's gonna get until I get home. That's gonna have to be replaced when I get home. Boobed up and uh, goodbye Holiday Inn. You were very nice. I appreciate you. It is still 40, I think it's 40 degrees now. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's 33, it's 33 degrees. Which makes sense because I can see my breath. <laughs> I've got a merino wool layer and then the heated layer and then I'll put another merino on top of this and then some cashmere and then my rain layer and see if we can't maintain core body temperature at the very minimum. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I've got to start my stories. There's 585 miles between me and home. Got myself some lunch, refueled, rewarmed up, ready to hit the road again. Only 424 miles to go. <laughs> That's fine. Gotta get my stories on. There we go. Goodbye, sushi. You were good. Made it to Baker City. Got gas. Got a giant spider running around on my bike somewhere. Under 400 miles now. Like 320 or something like that. Alrighty, just made it to Boardman. 160 miles to go. I think I'll take a break at the rest area just outside of town. Give my shoulders a small reprieve. <laughs> also hit 42,000 miles on the bike, which means that this trip has definitely been at least 2,000 miles, a little bit over, because I think that I hit 40,000 when I got into Nevada. Thank you, rest area, for your rest. It's about five now. Probably get home around nine. Stupid. Made it. 
made it home. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. Thank you so, so much. If you would like it to get early access to videos like these for as little as $1 a month over on Patreon, uh, you get early access to them ad-free. Can you tell that I'm tired? <laughs> for as little as $1 a month. I also want to thank Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring these videos and making it possible for me to go to Overland Expo West this year. They're super rad. I have a code down in the description if you would like to try out the app. Question for my end screen crew. What is your ideal breakfast on the road? I'll see you guys later. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. No drones, right? You can find, yeah, the cam. Yep. Oh, awesome. I just have a paper you can fill out. Okay. Okay, give me one second. Drone master. <laughs> so focused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm like, it's so bright. It's so <laughs> bright right now. It's so hard. I wonder if I can get it backlit. Do it this way. I can't even see if you can see us. <laughs> Hi, can you see us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so lovely to get to meet you in person. I wish we could keep hanging out. I know. <laughs> I guess we I guess we have to plan a trip now. Yes, we do. I can't be the only one who wants to wipe off the bugs as soon as they hit my face shield going down the road without having to stop. <laughs>